community, a place to heal, relax, be yourself and be surrounded by those who want to see you blossom and or bloom. I am Jessica, a Reiki master teacher and intuitive and today we have a special healing session. You are going to be receiving love, we are going to be bringing you love into your life. So sit back, relax and enjoy and if you're new to the community remember to like, comment and subscribe and check out the description box for all the fun stuff we have going on so let's get started. So we start out the session with a prayer. It is not a religious prayer. It is a prayer to root us in our individual healing experiences and bring us together as a collective. And because consent matters, do I have your permission to say a prayer? Okay. May I touch you? Okay. Dear Mother, Father, God, and all for the highest vibrational good, please connect us to the Reiki Masters, the Ascendant Masters, Master Jesus, Master Master Kutumi, Yamonja, Oshun, Mawu, and all the Taurus. Please connect us to the Archangel, Spirit Guide, Spirit Animals, our lineage, and all for the highest vibrational good only. Allowing us to step forth into our journey and bring this magical energy into our life. I say all of this in the name of I Am, Ashe, 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 and homage to the ancestors as well. Okay. So. Just starting at your heart. And I'm going to make some space and some room there. So you can receive the greatest amount of love and healing in your life. To receive, you have to feel worthy. You have to know that you are enough. Do you know that? you know that there's nothing that you could have done that would make you not worthy of love or some invisible rule that makes you not worthy of love that's not true bringing you the highest sense of vibration the highest sense of happiness and you deserve it you deserve a loving whole experience in your life and for your life to be surrounded by that exact energy within you is this beautiful, beautiful person, this beautiful, beautiful spirit that we all get to see.
those gifts of happiness, with those gifts of self-understanding, with those gifts of abundance, you are entering into this new stage in your life where you have to trust in yourself more than you trust in anything else. And that is really going to lead you to any success that you want, whether that is love, whether that is life, whatever. But you have to trust in yourself beyond reason and feel that same connection with love if you're looking for a romantic partnership, if you're looking for a significant other, a forever somebody. And that's what you really, truly, deeply want in your life. This is a moment to connect with your self-love. Make sure you are a reflection on the outside of what you want on the inside. Because if you don't feel enough without someone, you are only going to attract someone in your life that still makes you feel like you are not enough. But if you feel whole in who you are, the person you attract will continue to build on that and you all can both give each other that energy. If the love you are looking for comes from more like a family, uh, a need of being accepted, a need of having a collective support, make sure you surround yourself only by those who are there for your and their vibrational good. There are some people who will look like they are your friend, but really in reality, they're just kind of there to use you up <laughs> or allow you to play a role in their life. But, you know, try to be around people with growth mentalities who are not afraid to grow, not afraid to change, as well as make sure in these communities that they allow you to grow and become a new and a different person as life expands for you. And when you win, that they celebrate your wins with you. That is that loving energy, energy, energy. And I think most importantly is the self-love. That understanding that within you there is something so much bigger and better than anything you could find outside of yourself. I think we've all been... Um, tricked into thinking that the best love is a love experienced outside of the self. I feel like the best love is the love you give to yourself because if you're sweet and compassionate to yourself, you will never let somebody treat you bad. It is so hard to really be there for yourself because there's all of these uncertain things that come up in life and the easiest person to pick on sometimes can be yourself. So look deep inside and find love and compassion for yourself and live from that space. And I guarantee you, the people who come in your life will vibrate at that frequency. That's how energy works. You have to vibrate in your life at that frequency to bring people in. Understand there is a transition period. Understand there's going to be a time when people are coming in and going out. Understanding that change isn't always smooth. Sometimes people might throw a fit when you're no longer letting them, you know, uh, prance all over you. But you got to let people do what they got to do because you deserve to have this beautiful, loving energy around you. Can you imagine, you know, when it's uh, not COVID anymore where you can go out and frolic with friends or, or go out and have a good time or even if you're able to safely social distance to be able to do things virtually. I got really excited this year because I started a book club, a virtual book, book club, and we we're having a ball. <laughs> so there's so many things that you can do to bring this sense of connection into your life. But what we're going to do now is just give you a moment to see that true beauty and that true power within yourself. Feeling your heart right there warm up and feeling it be released from anything that is no longer serving you. And connect in with a vibrant future that will allow you to bring forth these abundant messages for your highest good only. And I like to say sometimes to remove fear, but don't feel like you have to be perfect. It's okay. There's some times where you can be shaking in your strip reels and still be out in the world doing the damn thing, okay? No worries there. You can do it. Take this moment to just pat yourself on the back and be like, wow, I've 
showed up each and every day of my life. Today is no different. And let's remove any negativity, any worry, any stress from you so that you can better receive this beautiful, beautiful, luscious love healing. And I want you to be a love magnet. I know in uh, March we usually do money, so it can be like a money magnet. That's always fun to be a money magnet. You know, February's right around the corner, so let's get you to be a love magnet. Okay? That when someone sees you, they see what they can have in love, or that they want to have that connection with you, if that's what you're looking for, for someone, or from someone. Good job. So I'm just going to pull out any of these ideas, or fantasies, or longings for a certain type of energy, and I'm going to show you how to find it within yourself. Responsibility for that, the right to love then becomes to materialize externally. Everything is energy going down, a gesture of manifesting into the physical. If you want love, you gotta start from the energy and bring it all the way down. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just gonna slowly take just little strands of love and just place it over top of your head like that. And I'm going to smooth it down like this, okay? Just little strands of love on top of your head, on top of your crown, around the third eye and all that stuff. Just that energy. Knowing that you are enough, knowing that you are more than enough, and just allowing that energy to flow on down, flow on, down, flow, on, down, okay, so let's bring that down, bring that down, bring that down, okay, so, just feeling up here, I want you to have this feeling of, you ever met someone who just makes you smile, and you're like, oh my gosh, there's something about this person's energy that is just so attractive, and for me, it's mostly energy. Like, I love a beautiful woman, but like, the most important part to me when I was dating, I'm not dating, but when I was dating, was um, seeing someone who had just a, uh, I want to use the word delicious, a delicious energy, something about them um, that just really made it uh, so appealing. They were so fascinating. Or who doesn't like a good mystery? from time to time. That is lovely, lovely energy. Anyway, I want you to connect with that sensation for whomever that is for you. I'm sure it could be a couple people too, like, I like this from that person or that from this person, whatever. And just start to feel, feel your cheeks get a little bit um, blush and rosy in that sensation in like the pit of your stomach, like, oh my gosh, who is that? And bring that bring that to the forefront. I have to think about the first time I met my wife. I'll do it like that. <laughs> bring it to the forefront. Bring it to the forefront. Bring it to the forefront. And just feel that energy. And put this figure, it can be just someone, you can give them an actual face, um, or you can just make them kind of just like a, like an outline. Um, but as you are in your energy with this person, whomever this is, just start to feel those sensations that we were just describing while being with that person. Having that person put a smile on your face. What it is, does it feel like to hold their hand? 
you probably don't think about this, but what does your kneecap feel or what does your ankles feel or what do you think it feels in those parts of your bodies that you don't really think about when you meet someone that you really like, you know, your ankle might itch, I don't know, people have their different things, <laughs> just, you know, don't overthink it, just go with that connection and just activate all of those things, okay, breathe in here. session of bringing you love but let's go ahead and 
Smoke.